Good afternoon, YouTube Vlog family. Today is July 2nd, 2022. Today's adventure brings us up to a town called Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Why does that sound familiar? Well, this is where the Little League World Series happens to take place. Um, but this month, uh, the Little League World Series is not taking place. It's next month. Today brings us up here to the historic Bowman baseball field, which was at one point, uh, many, many moons ago, an International League baseball team. Then it turned Easton. Then it went to New York, Penn League. And now it's just basically a collegiate wood bat, thanks to MLB reorganization of baseball. Well, we're headed over to Bowman Field. The time's roughly about almost four o'clock there is fireworks tonight i don't know if me and the family can get tickets but if not today maybe tomorrow so we're going to head on over again uh, it's a beautiful day there was supposed to be rain today but you know we chose to come up here in a little less um on the downside instead of going down to the shore and spending you know thousands thousands of dollars that rich people do at ocean city or new jersey shore we i took an uh, alternative route to come and enjoy the, the you know the week, short weekend with the family we just got done swimming so now we're going to head over to Bowman Field which is roughly about uh, a mile or two from here Okay, Bowman Field is in a nice little park called Memorial Park. Here's a uh, little signage devoted to the public recreation. There's a park, some picnics. That's the main road up there. The Mincy Ballpark sign. We got tickets, lots of tickets to Knobles night. You'll get free tickets here at Bowman State Park. I should say Bowman Field. That was my bad from reading the state park sign. Now, as you can see, we got four tickets. One is a uh, receipt. But here's for tonight's game. We're sitting in the family section, the non-alcoholic. Okay, so tonight's parking is $3, which isn't bad. Um, right now, they did lose their affiliate league, but they're just the draft league. 
So some former names of this field was Memorial Field, Bowman Field, Historic Bowman Field, Susquehanna Bank, BB and T Park. Um, location is in Williamsport. Owner is City of Williamsport. Oh, so no specific owner runs this part. So that explains it. It sits roughly 2,366 fans. The surface is grass. They broke ground in 1925, and the ballpark opened in 1926. So, I mean, there's some interesting facts. Some of the past tenants, everything started at Williamsport. Like I said earlier, Eastern League, there was a MLB. Little League Classic was held here, 2017. Um, New York Penn League, that was always my favorite league. So we're going to take a walk around the ballpark and uh, show you around. day though the rain did hold up oh little league field oh outfield fence there pitchers mount for warm-ups nobody's here of course they got nets to prevent you from uh, looking I believe that's portable stands when uh, the major league team comes in and they put up portable stands behind the scoreboard. This, I believe, is the visiting club. Another former New York League Penn League team. You can see he's warming up in the left field. We're sitting right under the press box. Oh. Visitor's clubhouse. Of course, I'm trying to talk over the blaring music, but hopefully uh, I don't get dinged on that with YouTube. But you gotta understand, when you're out in public, you certain things you cannot control in your, in your, uh, you know, what you're doing because, you know, it is a public domain, yeah, you are listening to somebody else's music, but it's not your fault. It's not your intentionally putting music for YouTube, but somebody is playing it over so, again, I understand the frustrations of fellow YouTubers where their music, they get dinged, but, you know, YouTube, relax. So, they, my daughter says they have Dippin' Dots. Ooh, we're going to get some Dippin' Dots tonight. Oh, hopefully it's good. And we're coming to, to a complete end of the walk for our tour. Here's where all the food is getting. Pepsi products. Diet Pepsi. Side. What do we got here? Mincy Ballpark. That name has changed over the years. All right, now if you do come to the game, they only allow a certain amount of size bag, 
clear bag policy. Don't ask me why it's Williamsport. Um, maybe they had an incident up here we didn't know about. So, you know, it's, um, you know, when in Rome, you respect, you know, other people's rules. Check out Sam's place. No, we don't go smoking. I don't even know why I'm promoting that. Hey, it's Uncle Sam. Yo, Uncle Sam. And here. And this is where you get the tickets. Will call. Windows. Team store. Let me show you. If you make the trek out here, here's the ticket prices. Tell you again, I was out here about 15 years ago. Isn't this not one bad seat in this whole entire place? So if you ever find yourself in this area, yes, make the trek to come out here. Because, you know, even though it's a draft league, they still treat it like a really, you know, an MLB team. Yes, Major League Baseball did screw a lot of teams over because of this, but you know what, A, and in the end, baseball is a business, and that's what it is. It always will be a business and not a sport. The next game, 635. Ooh, Curtis Gay got a new uh, pretty good record, 15 and 9, and fireworks tonight. And I do believe they will be handing out tickets to Kenobos. And as the security guard just spoke to me, this is where Major League Baseball, when the Little League uh, comes in and does their uh, Major League Baseball game, this is the field. So Boston Red Sox and Baltimore Orioles will be here. And that's confirmed. Oh, Frederick Keys. Yeah, this definitely is a uh, different league. Let's see. Trenton Thunder used to be an Eastern League team. They lost the Yankee affiliates to some team called the Somerset Patriots. But, you know, it's Trenton. Mohawken Valley. They were in Ohio. They were in New York Penn League. Eh, last time I was there many years ago, they weren't too nice. West Virginia, I don't know, that's a new team. Frederick Keys, I believe, was part of the, why do I say Carolina League? So there's not too many teams in this league. So as they come over here, Bowman Field, built 1926, known as Pennsylvania's oldest operating minor league baseball park. Wow. They supported the Williamsport Grays, Negro League, Harrisburg Giants. I don't know why they play up here instead of Harrisburg. Interesting. All right, we're gonna head on in to the team store, fan services. Got T-shirts. Ooh, this is cool. Hat. Yeah, I probably will be buying some uh, souvenirs. A lot of cool stuff. If it gets cold tonight, I'll definitely uh, be getting some stuff. Ooh, the low go boy baseball. Well, I collect baseball cards. I'll definitely be picking some of that up. Yeah? Nice. Pink hat. Fortunately, a lot of these shirts don't have my size. Ooh, jerseys. Oh, this is cool. This must be the mascot. What do we got here? Yep, game one jerseys. Cool. They probably definitely don't have my size. A phone fan, in case it overheats. Oh, cool. No, oh, it, you, it, you cool yourself you. with your phone. Oh, you cool yourself with it. Nice. 
you plug it into your bottom of your phone and and it works all right and, and here's the instructions cool you guys see what you want this one this right here you want that yes okay all right this is the uh souvenir shop if you want to wet your whistle Get there. Take the tail. Oh, it feels like it's about 90. Definitely you don't want to drink beer at a game like this. So, you know, like I said, we're sitting behind home plate. Here's the prices, sorry. Here's what the prices are. So if you come on down, it's pretty cheap down here. The prices are still reasonable. Every time I try to, you know, it goes fuzzy. Here's the menu. That's the VIP. This is nice. Well, let's see what we got down over here. Looks like it ends here. Hamburger, cheeseburger. Yep, ends right here. You can't go around that way. There's the netting for when the foul balls come back. Because people are yakking up the storm. Well, like I said, folks, so far, you know, it's been a nice experience. The fans have been really good. Some of the employees haven't been like, ah, you know. I don't know. I'm kind of iffy about this. So... I'll let you know my final thoughts. I just went up. They had no spots left for the kids. No baseball diamonds or anything like that. Here's uh, some people who passed through here. Some names, Dick Allen. You gotta know who Dick Allen is. Rob Thomas? No, wrong Rob Thomas. Not Rob Thomas from the blah, 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 blah. Just Rob Thomas. Public dress announcer. Military salute. Come up. So it doesn't look like a big crowd yet. Come around here. Kind of looks like a pit field a little bit. A little bit of the feel. Legion Fields Equestrian Center is thrilled to offer week-long summer day camps for the youth of Lycoming and surrounding counties. If your child age 6 to 17 is interested in horses and getting the full experience of what it's like to own a horse, then this Couple is of players. just the ticket. Legion Fields is located five miles north of Walmart in one tour zone. Make the most of your child's time off and register for one of the Legion Fields summer day camps. There's still time to enroll. They come out here. Oh, hi. There she is. So you can't really get around the stadium too much. Just, you know, they stop you right here. This is the VIP club. But, you know, the players are really nice. They've been signing, you know, for my daughter. Here we go. So if you want to let our viewers know at home, who's going to win tonight's game? Oh, we got it for sure. Yeah? We got it for sure. Nice. That's tonight's game time forecast. Boy, there's nobody here. I guess maybe everybody comes out when the sun goes down. And that in mind, I'm playing center field number four, Brandon Rodgers. And on now for a moment, we've got a tight number 37, Will Gerdes. And we're up in. This is the game, Stace. 
in web cash in the Pennsylvania Lottery. Second most popular answer, $60. Top answer gets you $100 in PA Lottery web cash to play the lottery online. What do you think? Blank? News. Say good news. He's going to say good news. Let's see if he has some good news. Let's show us the $20 answer. Well, here we are out in the left field fence along the um, out of play. Trying to get a nice view of the stadium. So far, you know, some of the works have been nice. I've only had a couple grumpy people, so. That first inning was really long. We're hoping to get out of here at a somewhat of a decent sign. So far, you know, I, I'm not really liking it too much. But, you know, I'll give you my final thoughts. It may get better. What's the jackpot up to so far? Um, about two hundred dollars right Ooh, now. Just bad. started. So. Imagine that, folks. I tell the two hundred dollars. The places I can take you. Just hope this I win. Keep your fingers crossed. This is the this is the winning one, ticket right here. here. When luck. did they call it? Uh, during the eighth inning, but you don't have to be here to win. All the way over to right. There's the mascot doll. Show them where the signature is. Boomer signed it. He was in a rush, but he had some place to go. But now, top of the sixth, you can go meet him in the, um, the foyer downstairs where you first come in. He's always on a run, doesn't have time to really stop and say hello to people, but I finally got a picture with him with my kids. So, yeah, things are a little bit different up here. Not your conventional, you know, warm and friendly and fuzzy atmosphere. But I tell you one thing though, the home team players, they were really, really nice. Bottom of the ninth, two outs. There was a rally killer. The home team scored only one. Had the bases loaded. They bombed out. One more strike. This happens to end the worst game ever. Possibly the longest I've ever been to for a nine inning game. about a three hour and 40 minute game. Mohawken Valley wins 
Seven to five. Thirteen hits in a slug fest. Okay guys, welcome back to my final thoughts. Um, we're here at uh, Williamsport uh, Crosscutters baseball game at the historic Bowman Field. Um, we got here kind of early, maybe about four o'clock, because I thought maybe the game was sold out. Um, we, you know, got tickets, we got pretty good tickets. Hardly anybody showed up. Um, but it was still, as you can see, a good crowd. I think the more, the more of the, um, the people showed up later, after the sun kind of like died down because it was hot and you do stand in the sun a lot. Because when the sun sets, it's setting out in the center field's face compared to the batter's face. Well, um, so we went in. So here's what I basically found out about what um, went on with the stadium. So um, we walked in. They do not let you in early. They let you in on the tee. It's an hour before. I mean, a lot of major league baseball games, they let you in an hour and a half, two hours to see batting practice. That's the, the main thing about the sport, is to see the whole thing. But here, they don't let you in early. You think you wouldn't want to let people in early to get some sales or whatever. Um, it is a, a, basically a collision wood bat league. Um, they lost their affiliate status uh, because they weren't uh, willing to upgrade the field. Basically, the city does own it. So, but it is very historic. I, I, I give it that. If you pass in this way, stop. But once you're inside, it's really not the best. Um, the people, the locals, were not very um, friendly or greetable. Some, we talked to some people. Yeah, they were nice, and you know they talked, but it seemed like we were bothering them. Uh, so a lot of the ballparks that you go in, you can sign up the kids to do on-field activities. Well, here, they know everybody. They picked who they wanted. Um, you know, I got in. I see if my kids can maybe run. The, they don't need to really run the bases or whatever. The guy basically said, "We're all full," which was total BS. But anyhow. Um, other things, the, the food here was not good. We saw a little boy throw up some pizza. Um, it is expensive, expensive drinks. You, you think for a collegiate bank they uh, have bought, you know, they would bring the prices down. The team shot girl who ran it and, and took, you know, the, behind the register was a doll. She's, if you ever come by to this ballpark, She's awesome. She talked to my kids. She was reading Harry Potter about five minutes. She was very knowledgeable. The interns here they have are very, very nasty. Um, people who were in the press box, I tried to get some information. The guy was really, really nasty. It's like, come on, guys. It's a wood MLB draft prospect. The players were nice, the home team, as you can see, they took pictures with my daughter, they signed a, a ball for her, I mean, yes, kudos to the players, they were first class. Um, what else can I say, Any, am I forgetting anything? Um, People got hurt. Oh, yeah, um, the stadium is really uh, set up for friendliness, there's a lot of uh, retirement, elderly in this community, uh, my daughter fell on the metal seats. Uh, People were falling, and not because they were drunk, it's just because you weren't watching your footing, and it really wasn't kind of set up. Uh, the tickets were average. Anywhere you go now in baseball, you know, they're starting to price everybody out, but I wanted to come for the 4th of July. The fireworks show, but the game itself had to be the most horriblest game I ever saw. It was three, maybe three hours and 40 minutes long for the worst baseball game ever. I mean, it wasn't even the bottom of the third yet. It was over an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, but anyhow, also at nighttime, um, the, there's a bug problem. During the day, too, there's a moth problem. I was told by one of the locals there's um, a bug problem every year. This year happens to be moths. And when you come at nighttime, you'll see them flying around. 
But anyhow, listen, I'm going to cut this short. We got to get back, to get something to eat, get back to the hotel. Got to get up early. We may be headed over to the Little League World Series bar, the uh, City Museum. You know, see what happens. You know, we might come back here tomorrow. But anyhow, listen, my final thoughts is oh I would have, I hate to say it, but I mean, I try to look for positive aspects in a lot of stuff, but I could not find any here. I would avoid this place and watching a baseball game here totally. It, to me, I mean, yeah, it was a really, um, it was a neat 4th of July. I haven't been up here in almost 14 years, but I, I can sense that the locals don't take kindly to outsiders, even though we're we're from Pennsylvania, it seems like, you know, they're just a little bit above us. But anyhow, that's enough of that. Anyhow, I give this zero, let's go with zero baseballs, because that's the theme today, zero baseballs. Uh, a big thumbs down. But anyhow, uh, family, listen, it's late. I didn't want to be so negative. I'm sorry, um, but it just wasn't my cup of tea. And, well, anyhow. But basically, I want you to, you know, subscribe to my channel. Let friends know. Subscribe to this channel. Keep it going. We're up to 53 people now. My new goal is 100. Let's get the word out there. This is nothing but positive feeling. Let's turn this bad boy around. Let's turn tomorrow a better, a better day. Because tomorrow, is, we can always, if we wake up, we can always get it right. But anyhow, folks, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. A big thumbs up. A big thumbs up. Everybody's getting to the end. Anyhow, family, good night. Peace out. Please check out some of my other videos that, that if you like them, they're pretty interesting. Some of the early ones are kind of ah. But anyhow, have a good night. Sorry if it was shaky. I have bugs flying all over. Okay, my wife said sorry it was shaky. There's bugs flying all over and there's but a anyhow, bug on you and there's a bug on me let's go there you go look at that two buggy anyhow folks <laughs> anyway have a good night again avoid this place it wasn't I, we didn't have fun at all so anyhow have a good night and god bless take care